Okay, so let's look at our first titration calculation. Calculate the pH at the indicated point in the titration of 50 milliliters of 0.1 molar HCl with 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. The first thing to do is to just read the problem and think, what's in my beaker? And then we can write an equation for the titration. So what's in my beaker? Strong acid, HCl, and a strong base, sodium hydroxide. This is double replacement chemistry or acid-base chemistry. They trade partners at the dance. So sodium hooks up with chloride, makes sodium chloride, and hydrogen hooks up with hydroxide and makes water. So acid plus base makes salt plus water, always. Now when we think about this, when the titration is done at the equivalence point, all of the HCl is gone. All of the sodium hydroxide is gone. What's left in my beaker? Salt water. If I look in there with my molecule seeing eye, who's swimming around in there? Water molecules, sodium ions, and chloride ions. What effect do sodium ions have on pH? None. What effect do chloride ions have on pH? None. What effect does water have on pH? Seven, right? It's neutral. The pH is seven, right? Water is a neutral pH. So what would the pH be at the equivalence point when I'm done titrating? Seven. So anytime you have a strong acid and a strong base and you're at the equivalence point, the pH is seven. If you can recognize that, if someone were to ask you this in the near future, what's the pH at this equivalence point, if you recognize strong acid, strong base, I'm at the equivalence point, you don't need to get your calculator out. Okay? So now let's go through this stepwise. We're going to look at each of those zones. So the first zone is before any titrant is added. So what's in my beaker at this point in time, I have 50 milliliters of 0.1 molar HCl. So what's in my beaker is 0.1 molar HCl. HCl is a strong acid, so the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the acid concentration is equal to 0.1 molar. So the pH is minus the log of 0.1 molar. I have three sig figs here. So the pH is equal to 1.000. Three sig figs gives me three digits to the right of the decimal. I know we had a couple people asking about that. So all I've got in my beaker is HCl, and I can find the pH of a strong acid. We've been doing that since the beginning. <coughs> since the beginning of chapter 16. Now, what's the pH after 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide has been added? Well, now we have to figure out what's in my beaker. To start with, I had HCl, and I need to know how much HCl I had in there. So I had 50 milliliters of HCl. And its concentration was 0.1 mole of HCl per liter per 1,000 mils. So I had 0 0.00500 moles of HCl in the beaker to start. Right? Now let's think about what I've added. I've added 10 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. So I put in 10 milliliters 
of sodium hydroxide whose concentration is 0.1 mole per liter per thousand mils. So that's equal to 0 0.00100 moles of sodium hydroxide added. Now, when I added that sodium hydroxide, what was it doing? Reacting. Reacting or using up, getting rid of the HCl. So that's also equal to the moles of HCl used up. So if we think about this, we say what's left? All the sodium hydroxide that I added is reacted. It's gone. There's no sodium hydroxide in my beaker now. There's sodium chloride and some water. So what's left, I had 0 0.005 moles of HCl minus what got used up, 0 0.001 moles used up by the sodium hydroxide is 0 0.004 moles of HCl is left. Now, what's the concentration? Because I have changed the volume. You have to divide by the total volume. So I have 0 0.004 moles divided by my new volume, 60 milliliters, 0 0.0600 liters, is 0.0667 molar HCl. That's what's left in my beaker. And that's equal to 0.0667 molar hydrogen ion because the HCl breaks apart completely. So when I look at this now, my pH is minus the log of 0.0667 molar so it's equal to 1.176. So the pH has gone up a little bit, but not that much. It started off at 1. I've gone up to 1.176. Now let's look at what happens at the next spot. 